By studying the history of television broadcasting, we can better understand the roots of much of the digital technology that we now use in our everyday lives. Satellite TV, digital radio, cellular phones, two-way pagers, home computers, and video games all originated from the innovation and technology created by the hard work and talents of many people from around the world. Everyone from independent trailblazers to corporate machines. Join us in this series as we take a look back through the pages of the history of television. Welcome to the History of Television, Episode 1. I'm your host, Valerie Guerra. For many people, the word television simply refers to a box that sits in the middle of most living rooms. But in fact, a television broadcasting system is actually comprised of three distinct components, each of which required major scientific breakthroughs. The visual image recording system, the radio transmission system, and the visual image playback system. In this series, we'll explore the ingenious men and women who developed the television broadcasting as we know it today. 1900 first known use of the word television at the 1900 Paris Exhibition. 1907, Boris Rosing designed a mechanical scanner with a CRT cathode ray tube receiver. 1911, Rosing and college student Vladimir Zvorkin achieved the first transmission of images. 1919, visionary David Sarnoff is named manager of RCA. 1921, Philo T. Farnsworth at age 14 had his first vision for a process of electronic TV scanning. 1926, Farnsworth received a loan and moved with his wife to San Francisco to begin his experiments. 1927, AT&T demonstrated a mechanical television system. 1928, Farnsworth demonstrated his CRT-based system to the press in San Francisco. 1930, David Sarnoff became president of RCA. 1935, Farnsworth and RCA battled over patents. The courts ruled in favor of Farnsworth. 1936, RCA demonstrated their version of an all-electronic TV system. 1939, RCA broadcasted from the New York World's Fair. Farnsworth signed a patent licensing agreement with RCA. at New York's World Fair of 1939 that television was put on public display. The first day of the fair, hundreds of Americans saw, for the first time ever, this remarkable device. A machine that allowed people to record, transmit, and view motion images. RCA's television was the very first set available for sale to the public. At the fair, RCA also announced the country's first scheduled television programming, which began transmission on the fair's opening day. RCA had set up dozens of TV sets at the fair, and hundreds more spread throughout New York City. Appearing live on TV that afternoon was President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Roosevelt gave a televised speech welcoming everyone to the World's Fair. Join us on our next episode as we more thoroughly examine two of the earlier pioneers, Philo Farnsworth and Vladimir Sporkin. I'm Valerie Guerra, and you've been watching the History of Television.